degrees. Well, it's prom season, but if your secret admirer fell through this year, or if you're just sick of all that prom pageantry, we found an alternative. And joining us now to talk about this week's upcoming nerd prom is Rebecca Van Dan of Middleton Public Library. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, you have a wonderful idea for an alternative to the traditional mm -hmm. dance. Sure, yes, we're having a geek prom. There should be some fun nerdy events. Um, we'll be having like a book balancing race okay. and a spelling bee. Uh, we'll have pin the pin, pin the pointed ears on Spock. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And a, and a costume contest too, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. well, what are some of the prizes for winning some of these events? Oh, you just become crowned king, uh, geek king or queen? Geek king or uh, geek queen? queen. Uh, how, so, do you have to, is it like a total like accumulation of points that you have to get? Or? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so how many points do you assign per event? Um, it, it's actually per question. Oh, and, per, okay. Right, so we have a couple questions we'll ask and um, th there's also events that they can do as well. Mm -hmm. Now, all of this um, will also include the nerdy knowledge quiz. Right. Is that what you're calling it, yes, right? Exactly. Okay. Now Barkley and I volunteered to try some of these out. So let's see how we can do with the nerdy knowledge. Wait, wait, hold on. Did we really volunteer <laughs> okay, or, did, I volunteered or did you volunteered Barclay. you volunteered us. Okay. Let's say okay. But right. I'm still ready. I want right. to do this. <laughs> Lay it on us, Rebecca. Sure. Yeah, we'll see how we can do. Where um, I, where's my buzzer? <laughs> you don't get a buzzer? We, 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 we don't have to time you. Okay. okay. Um, so one question is, name three characters uh, from Star Wars that are not human. Name three characters from Star Wars. Uh, Chewbacca. He was not a human. Well, okay. Why are you going to argue that? <laughs> oh, okay. He was, he was not a human. Chewbacca is acceptable. Uh, Jabba the Hutt. There you go. He was not a human. I got one. Uh, but you're still going. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, well, the Ewoks, they weren't human. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Three. Done. Okay, I thought human, they walk talking, right? Kind of. All right, maybe not. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Barkley we got that one. The next one's an easy one. What sport does Harry Potter play? Oh, Quidditch. I was going to, I gave her that one. I gave her that one. I, I knew she would know, so okay. I wanted yeah. to... because we saw the movie together. Yes, we did. Well, the final movie together, yeah. not the other six. Okay, Just let's see if we can have a tiebreaker. Um, this one's a little bit harder. Oh. Uh, what does it mean in Star Trek when they make a V with their fingers? Uh, live long and prosper. Very good. That's not hard. <laughs> that's, that's out. Well, you have to watch Star Trek. Okay, okay, keep it coming, I, I, Rebecca. Yeah, get, I'm come on, give, give me one. one more, maybe two more. Okay. Um, here's another harder one. What sci-fi author wrote about automatic sliding doors in 1899? We all look at Caleb. <laughs> what? I don't know. And you know what? And there's nothing coming in my ear right now. <laughs> okay, we're all stumped on Thanks, that. Thanks, back room. You're really helping us out, <laughs> making uh, us look smart. Who was that? H.G. Wells. <gasps> really? See, yeah. now we could have Did made you actually know that? He, he our floor director, it. Caleb, claims. And you didn't even that. mouth it for them? <laughs> <laughs> no help at all. All, all right, right. give us another one. One other? Um, rounded to the nearest 100th, what does pi equal? Oh, 3.15 or 3.14. I got 3.14. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay, so see, I was kind of close. Well, let's wrap it up, Rebecca. All of this occurring this Thursday. Right. Right. At 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock at the Middleton Library downstairs. Right. Right. So uh -huh. wear a costume, correct? Oh, right. right. Any you costume. Can, or, you, you can wear a prom for? dress or you can just dress up like a nerd if you'd like to, whatever your style what, what is. What age group can show up? Who it's, is this for? It's for ages 12 to 19. 12 to 19. Okay, yeah. uh, how many people are you guys expecting? Um, we're not sure. It kind of varies with teens. So. Okay. Well, awesome. they'll all be there for the crown. Yeah. Shall I well, give you guys your crowns? Clear. I would. I would we each get one. Yeah. Oh. You both did great. I, I like I mine because I don't think this is going to fit. Mine has Amy Fair Fowler from <laughs> um, Big Bang Theory on mine. Not, you put <laughs> Albert Einstein on yours. I, I also have uh, Chuck. He was on an NBC show, so we worked in, you know, an NBC <laughs> tie-in there. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much yeah, for, uh, for stopping me. by. And if you get a chance, head to uh, head to the Geek Prom. Give it a whirl. <laughs>